Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, we're going to be helping those of you that do first Lego League to help you keep your robot a little bit more accurate. And the keyword today is aligned. So if you want to see that, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. So those of you that do First Lego League, I know your biggest frustration is, Mr. Hino, why does our robot do one thing one time and it, it's completely different the next time? I totally feel your pain. I've seen it a million times where my teams have run a mission and one day it's the same and then the next day it's totally different. Things, I don't know what happens, like gremlins come out and just and change things on your brick or something. So the key word today is going to be aligned. We're going to help your robot somehow as it's doing its mission to keep itself aligned so that it doesn't veer off or miss your target mark. So the basic first thing you're going to be looking at is having double color sensors. So if your robot doesn't have double, double color sensors, we're gonna to need to put two of them on here just to help your robot stay aligned. So basically what we're gonna use is we're gonna use these sensors to help your robot basically keep itself straight where it's kind of veered off. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, if you don't remember this video, I'll leave a link in the description when I compare the EV3 and the Spike Prime to which one drives straighter. And I'll also leave you a link to the video I did on what causes the robot to go off left or right and not stay straight. But, you know, today's video, I'm just going to basically um, reemphasize that these robots don't always go straight. There's plenty of reasons why they'll veer off left or right. And when you're doing a first Lego League mission, you'll need every resource or trick that you can get to keep your robot going straight. So today, it's just going to look at when your robot goes off left or right and you need to be super precise. It's going to be a way for you to get your robot to be squared up or aligned. So that way, if your you know mission requires that your precision is perfect, that your robot has a better chance of completing it because your robot is straight and not veering off to the left or right like these robots you see here. So if you see the laser, the laser was actually on the outer edge of the wheel and you can see how the laser has moved to the inner part of the wheel. And so the robot is going to veer off left or right occasionally and we want to be able to correct this if we need to be able to get precise on a mission. So we're going to need these color sensors. We're going to need to be able to look at the program, which I'm going to show you. And I'm also going to do a demonstration on a first Lego League possible mission. Actually, it kind of mirrors the bridge mission in this year's City Shaper. If you notice, there was a black uh, line in front of the bridge to hopefully help you align your robot. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So there's many things that your team can do to keep your robot basically more consistent where, you know, in base, there's those grid lines where you line your robot up according to the grid line. Uh, some robots you can back up against the backboard to kind of straighten yourself out. So there's a lot of tricks to help your robot stay straight, to stay in line. But today's we're going to be looking at these color sensors to kind of get your robot, well actually not kind of, to square off or align your robot so that when it's going out on a mission and it seems to be veering off, it can get itself back in line to where your target mission is. So what we're going to do today is take a look at the program and then take a look at some examples from previous first LEGO League missions where there are black lines on the table to help your robot um, get, gain this alignment, so to speak, so that it can just help your robot get to the destination and pull off the mission more, I guess, in a better percentage than just randomly going out there and, you know, hoping that it does its best.
I'm on my Lego Mindstorm software here, and let me explain what's happening here that will help your robot stay aligned. Um, you're going to have to remember to split your motors here. For me, I always use the move tank, which is the B plus the C. But in this case here, we're going to want to split the motors because we want both of the motors to be acting independently. So I'm going to start off, and I know 20% is low, but you guys can bear with me. So here is my B motor and my C motor. They're going to both be going at 20% um, speed. So what's going to happen is what's going to help us stay aligned is when this color sensor, when it sees less than 50% reflected light, which we're aiming for that to be the black line on a first Lego League mat, um, it's going to basically activate the B motor to stop. And what will happen is if our robot is crooked or steering off, what's going to happen is this color sensor, whatever color sensor, you know, it can be going too far to the left or too far to the right. So either color sensor is going to notice this black line and basically will stop the motor, but it'll allow the other motor to keep going until the other color sensor sees the black line. So that's going to automatically straighten out our robot. And then, you know, you can always, um, you know, have um, blocks here in the front. If, you know, you need to get to that black line, you can obviously have blocks here in the back, which I'm going to show you. Um, if you're doing a first Lego League mission and this is just to straighten you out and then you have other operations or functions to do after. So what I want to do is just take this program and show you what this looks like um, with a black line. And then we'll put it all together with a first Lego League type mission. So let's go ahead and take a look at this on a black line and let me show you how that works. Okay, the program's been downloaded. Let me go ahead and show you how this will align itself using these two color sensors. So the robot's offline and then it just will stop this one will stop this motor here and then when this sees that black line it will stop that motor to straighten itself out okay look at that perfectly straight ready to do whatever would be next So, you know, if your mission is right in front of this line, it just straightened out your robot for you if your robot was going off. And so if you remember from City Shaper, if your robot was going up the ramp, you can see here now that it gives you a better chance. Now, there is one disclaimer about this. You know, if we are talking about that City Shaper ramp, with these color sensors, that's gonna be a little tougher now to get up an incline because these are so low to the ground that clearance is now gonna be an issue. But, you know, if it's a mission other than a ramp or, you know, if you can figure out a way to modify this so it can go up a ramp, it just helps your robot to straighten out. So, you know, if you were going offline, your robot now can be self-corrected to go straighter, to hopefully get a better chance of completing your mission. So here we have a mission like the Shark Tank from Animal Allies. We're gonna to try to put this rim inside of this rectangle right there. Now I'm purposely going to make this crooked. You can see how I might be aiming for it, but usually you, know, you would aim it straight, but here it's gonna be crooked. Now let's go ahead and see how this works. So I did the forward. And it's going to straighten itself out. Hey, that's not too bad. So again, we're just trying to increase the amount or the chances that we'll get this correct, even if our robot drifts. Let's go try to um, send this off a different angle. Okay, let's come at it from this angle now. You can see how we're angled a bit. Now let's watch this thing correct itself. Did you see that? Okay, we weren't perfectly in. 
but if you can if you saw at the end there it did self correct you know and to get it to be a little more more aligned than before let's try this one more time okay i have this robot aimed at it straight but at a little bit of an angle so let's go ahead and see how this one works out Not sure how much correcting this will need. No, really didn't need that much correcting. Not too bad. Okay, so there you go. Okay, guys, so there you have it. It's just another tool for those of you that are, you know, just getting into first Lego League, or maybe you have just never have known about the aligning black lines and the ability to do that. Um, it's, so it's just another tool for you to, you know, use or not use. Some of those missions are close enough that maybe you don't need to use it, but it's in your bag of tricks now in case you ever, you know, get to that situation where your robot is just not performing the way you want to. Now you in the back of your mind can go, I remember that aligning trick and it's something that you can always use if you need it. So I just thought I would throw that out to you today, guys, for those of you that do first Lego League. That's just another strategy to get your robot to just be more consistent because that is the daily struggle um, in first Lego League is just to have your, that robot just be more dependable than, you know, without certain tricks or sensors. And another thing I forgot to mention is with those color sensors, that would be an awesome thing to mention in your robot design where the judges just love to hear that you're utilizing those sensors. So I forgot to mention that. Okay, guys, hopefully you're still having fun. Hopefully you're just into robotics. And, you know, as we get closer to the school year, you know, schools will open up and we're able to do robotics like we used to, but we'll have to see. Okay, guys, I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I am out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care. Thank you.